we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise we thank you we shabak you we reverence you and we hallelujah allow you to have your way on today come on clap your hands Lord, you're worthy. How many know he's been good? He's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Jesus has been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song said, you've been good. You've been kind. You blow my mind. Oh, yeah. How can it say? How many can say that? Woo! When he made that way out of no way. Hallelujah. Open that door that somebody said was closed. Woo! Yeah. Y'all look good in your epicenter shirts. Woo! Let's put your hands together this morning. Woo! I will bless your name. Every breath I take. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. How many people are glad to be here on a Sunday morning? Hallelujah, amen. This is our epicenter day, but I want to let you know, don't let the t-shirts and the tennis shoes fool you. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is still relevant in this place, amen. Hallelujah. We still got rolling room. We still got running room in this house. We still speak in other tongues, hallelujah. We still come to give God a radical praise all over this house. Why don't you shout in this place on this morning? Hallelujah. Hey. Amen, amen. One more time, give him a hand clap of praise. And while you're at it, go ahead and turn to your neighbor and say, Hallelujah, we're glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen, amen. Amen. Psalm the 92nd chapter, amen. We're going to get right into it. It says, it is good to give thanks to the Lord, yes. hallelujah, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, yes. to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument and ten strings, on the lute and on the heart with harmonious sound, for you, Lord, have made us glad. Hallelujah. How many people he's made glad on this morning? Hallelujah. For you, Lord, have made us glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hand. Oh, Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. Hallelujah. That's verse number six. I'm going to read number four again. For, your, for you, Lord, have made us glad through your works. I will triumph. I'm going to interject right there. We will triumph in the works of your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Truly, we come to have a glorious time in the Lord on this morning. Amen. Would you go with me before the throne? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now for everything that's getting ready to be said, everything that's getting ready to be done and experienced in this house on this morning, Lord. We thank you for your grace for allowing us to make it to the house of worship one more time. And we'll give you all the praise and we'll give you all the honor, O oh God, as we sing Zion songs unto you, O oh God, as we clap our hands and lift our voices, O oh God, in reverence to who you are. For it's in you that we 
we live, move, and have our very being. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Meet us in this place on this morning, oh God. Touch everyone in their respective places. Touch the preacher as he brings forth the word on this morning. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and clap your hands and make a joyful shout as I turn you back over to IMD. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands this morning. Come on, make some noise if you feel alive and free on this morning. I said make some noise if you feel alive and free in this place. Come on. Everybody, everybody, come on, clap those hands. Come on. Come on, I want you to get loose on this morning. Come on and clap those hands on oh yeah. I was lost with a broken heart You pulled me up, now I'm set apart From the eyes I am born again Forever free in my Savior's hand I will leave that you will be done And I will stop till your kingdom come I fix my eyes following your way Forever free in the empty grave Everybody turn it out Say, you are, you are, you are my freedom We are too higher Darkest night, let your love be the shining light. Break your chains that were holding me. You sent your son down to set me free, and I will live that you will be done. And I will stop till you give the girl. I fix my eyes following your way, forever free and unintegrated. Sing it out, say. say it. Listen. I'm alive, I'm alive. Yeah. I'm alive, I'm alive. And you say. Y'all sound so good. Sing it out. Say. Say I'm alive. Yeah. Say I'm alive. Yeah. I'm alive. Oh, yeah. Everybody say. I'm 
living in the light now. I'm living in the light now. I'm living in the light now. I'm living in the light now. I'm living in the light now. I'm living in the light now. You say, I'm living in the light. I'm living in the light. I'm living in the light. Come on, lift your voice up, I'm living safe. Yes, sir. I'm living in the light. I'm living in the light. I clap to the today. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. There's no chains holding me. Sing it out. My soul is resting. Come on, church. Sing it out. Say, praise the Lord. Come on, say, praise the Lord. Come on, for His mercy to do it forever, say. Come on, from generation to generation, say. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm free. Now come on and give God your praise on this morning. Come on, if you know that it's good. Hallelujah. Then you also know that you're free to worship. If you can lift your hands and begin to let the Lord know. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. I worship you. Stress signal, we call him then too. But just because you love him, you know how somebody whispers in your ear? Somebody whisper your name. But don't you want to whisper in Jesus' ear, Jesus? Jesus. Woo! Don't that do something in your soul when it's just you and him? Can you lift your hands for worship? Just you and him. It's just you and him. And he's saying, All I want you to do is call me. Call me. I'm right there. I never hang up. I'll never turn my back on you. Call me. Just say, Jesus. Jesus. I need you right now. Jesus. Fill this place. Jesus. 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 Call the name of Jesus. He is my healer. I'll call the name of Jesus. You are my provider. Call the name of Jesus. You are my protector. I'll call your name Jesus. You are my deliverer. Oh, oh, don't you just love being in his presence? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I call the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, you're my healer. Healer. Ooh, call the name of Jesus. I'll call the name of Jesus. 
on, say the name Jesus. Jesus. Come on, say Jesus. Jesus. My God. Yes. Say, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, there's power in yes. that name. Power. Come on, find another neighbor and say, there's power in that name. Yes. On the other day, I was at one of my favorite places, um, and I used Wednesday as a day to just begin to pamper myself and love on myself. You all need a day to love on yourself. Tell your neighbor, you need a day to love on yourself. But I went to this particular place that I haven't been, haven't been to in a while. And I think it had been over three months that I had been at this particular place, but I didn't want to drive far out. I, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and go. So I went to the place, and as I was getting my nails done and things like that, one of the uh, workers came to me and she said, I hadn't seen you in a while. Where have you been? And I just said, oh, I've been around, I've been around, I've been around. And so uh, she said, you know what? The last time you was here, she said, you dropped some money. She said, we held on to this money because we knew that we would see you again. And she gave me the money and I was like, my God. I didn't even know that I had dropped something. Wow. But I'm here to tell you that sometimes yeah. you're in a place and you're in a particular place that you wind up losing something. Yeah. You'll lose something. You'll lose your, you know, your, your dignity. You'll lose all kind of things in a certain place. But I'm here to tell you that same place will turn around. Hallelujah. That same place. I don't care if you're in a situation right now. That same place has a potential to bless your life. My God, you could have made a mistake in the same house, but that same house has a potential to bless your life. You're not, you're not getting this. You're not getting this. Hallelujah. That same job that demoted you has the ability to promote you. That same place. Turn to your neighbor and say that same place. That child that was disobedient would turn around and be that same child that bless you. My God, you, you, don't, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. Sometimes we think that we have to go off or we have to, you know, replace something. But sometimes in the same place that you've lost something can be the very place that turns around and blesses your life. Oh, yeah. I want you to look at that husband. I want you to look at that wife. I want you to look at that child. I want you to think about your job. I want you to think about your business. It may not be where you want it to be. Your ministry may not be where you want it to be. The place where you are may not be in the season of blessing you. But that same place. Can I tell you when Abraham looked up. He was in the same place. In that place. That he was in. He allowed Lot to pick the place. But Lot didn't know that same place was a blessed place. Come on, tell your neighbor the same place. Come on, find a neighbor. Say the same place. Oh, y'all not telling nobody. Get out your seat and say the same place. Come on, find somebody. Find somebody. Come on, come on, find somebody. The same place. The same place. That same person. That person that counted you out. Come on, I'm feeling it. Woo! My God, I feel an epic explosion in this place. I feel an epic turnaround in this place. I feel an epic overflow in this place. My God. You're in the same place you was at last Sunday in the epicenter but I'm here to tell you there's a blessing there's a blessing there's a blessing in this atmosphere come on clap your hand the same place hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah no limits no boundaries no limits no limits no boundary. No Say that with your mouth. No limit. No boundary. No boundary. No limit. No limit. No boundary. No boundary. Glory be to God. No Glory limit. be to God. The word has already been released and gone forth. As prophetess was saying that, 
All I heard was this. Your prosperity is tied to your geography. That same place. Your prosperity is tied to your geography. You're in that place to prosper. Glory be to God. You're under the spot where the glory comes out. You're in the epicenter. Hallelujah. You're right in the midst. We serve the God that's the God of the beginning and the end. But we also serve the God in the, of the middle. And you're right in the midst. You're right in the middle of where God wants you to be so that he can show up in your life like he's never showed up before. Go ahead and give the Lord a wave offering in this place as we prepare our hearts for our epicenter announcements. Glory be to God. And as you're heading to your seat right now, I want you to shout this with your mouth. My prosperity is tied to my geography. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's prepare our hearts for our epicenter announcement. Great day, everyone. Great day. Great day. Welcome to epicenter day. Great day. Hallelujah. The announcements are as following. Tuesday, September 24th, is Man Talk at 7 p.m. Tuesday, September 24th, is Man Talk at 7 p.m. Epic Center Kids Choir Rehearsal is every third and fourth Saturday of the month at 11 a.m. Please see Minister Melinda Stewart for more questions or concerns. Friday, September 27th at 7 p.m., the Millennial Department will gather at Spinners in Florence, Mississippi. See Brother Chris Rash for more information. October 20th at 9 a.m., Bishop Trailer will be traveling to speak at New Home Family Worship Center in New Orleans to celebrate 35 years of pastoring with Bishop R.C. Blakes. October 27th, I mean 25th, excuse me, through the 26th, Pastor Stephen Brown presents Authenticity Weekend at the main campus of the Epic Center Church. Registration is free, and you may do so by going to www.weareauthentic.org. Again, that's www.weareauthentic.org. Those are all of our announcements. God, hallelujah. As you all can see, we have plenty of things going on here at the Epicenter. Amen. We are a thriving and growing church. Amen. That being said, it's seed sowing time in the house of God. Amen. Glory be to God. If you desire to give, please raise your hands and our professional ministry technicians will be elated to serve you at this time. If you're making our checks, we ask that you will make all checks payable to the Epicenter. That is E-P-I-C-E-N-T-E-R. If you are given electronically, we invite you to text the number 601-202-4365. You can type the words, I tithe, or you can type the words, I give. For those of you all who are joining us online, listen and welcome to the Epicenter. Listen to me, Epicenter Day here at the Epicenter Church. We, too, invite you to text the number 601-202-4365. You can text the word, I tithe, or text the word, I give. For those of you all who are joining us for the very first time, welcome to our glory Sunday morning experience. On behalf of Bishop Lionel Joseph Trailer and Prophetess LaShawn Trailer. we would like to welcome you here to the Epicenter. Center. We ask that you would just raise your hands and our professional ministry technicians will give you a guest information card. We ask that you will complete that card in its entirety. It simply tells us a little bit about who you are, where you come from. If you have that card completed, listen, during the offering time, we invite you to put it in the offering receptacle so that we can add our faith to your faith concerning that which you believe in God for. While you're getting your tithes and offerings on together on this morning, I'd like to read to you Luke. Luke chapter 7, beginning at verse 1, just to build your faith up. When he was in it all the saying in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. This is talking about Jesus. And a certain centurion servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, say place. 
when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servants. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom we should do this. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. I want to share this with you on this morning, as we always say, that when you make the commitment to build God's house, God is obligated to come and see about what's going on and what's going on wrong at your house. They made a very clear distinction that I'm going to come to Jesus, but they made a very clear distinction to let this uh, Jesus know that this man was worthy for him to come for, because the Bible says for he loveth our nation. In other words he loved the people and not only did he love the people but he loved the place so much that he would made an investment in the place. Do you love Epicenter? Do you love the people of Epicenter? Well if you love the people of Epicenter I want you to put some paper in your hand and make an investment so that we can have a place for more people to come and love the Epicenter hallelujah so that we can build bigger and better amen are you all ready to invest into the kingdom on this morning amen glory be to God stand with me to your feet turn to your right and my left and, I, and, and come from the back our professional ministry technicians will escort you down glory be to God As others are coming around, and if you can stand, please remain standing. Hallelujah. As we honor the Lord in our giving on this morning, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now for the opportunity to sow into the good ground of the epicenter. Father, we believe you for a tremendous harvest, not only for our needs, but for the needs of others. Ministering angels, we command you to go forth now, cause a return to come back unto us. Father God, we decree and declare right now by the authority that you've given unto us that increase shall come from the north, the south, and the east, and the west. We decree and declare right now that the seed that we've sown into this good ground shall produce more much fruit. Why don't you go ahead and point to your seed and shout this with me. Shout, my seed, my seed is, unstoppable. is unstoppable. What was only money is now seed. And that seed is unstoppable. In Jesus' name, go ahead and make your epicenter prophetic declaration. Income, increase, inheritance, inheritance. One more time. Income, increase, Inheritance, inheritance in Jesus' name as I turn you back over to our EMD. Come on, church. Come on, side out. a little louder than before I'm gonna sing a little louder than before oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna jump higher than before jump. so I gotta scream louder yeah. come on everybody say freedom freedom Clap a little louder than before. Clap, clap. I'm gonna sing a little louder, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna spin 
wilder than before. So it's only right I scream louder, yeah. Everybody's singing out freedom. Say freedom. freedom. You're thankful for. Freedom. We're grateful for. Freedom. Say freedom. No more bondage, I am free, yeah. Come on, I want to hear y'all say it. Say no more shackles, say. Break it down just a little bit, Pat. Come on, sing it loud. Come on, say no more shackles, no. No more bondage, say. Come on. We know that the sun has set us free, so we'll say no more shackles. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Lift it up. Come on. If you believe it, sing with me. Hallelujah. 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 on this morning. Tell the wild fall, tell the chains break, praise the petty enemy and tell to my feet. Anybody know that? Come on, praise the tell the wild say. Come on, let that be your declaration on today. Say praise the tell the wild fall, yeah. Come on, sing it out, church. One more time, say praise up to the wall, fall. Uh -uh. Yeah. Hey. Now one more time, we lift it up and we shout out, say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm free, hallelujah, I'm free, hallelujah. Keep it sick, run, run, the throne of praise, the hallelujah, 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 yeah, freedom, 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 come on church, sing it out. Freedom. Freedom. I'm free to say. Freedom. Freedom, yeah. Freedom. Come on, all over this place, sing it out. Freedom. 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 So grateful for. Freedom, Freedom yeah. Freedom. Hallelujah. Come on. If you're free, come on, declare it. If you're free, come on to create Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Are you all ready for the word on this morning? I said, are you all ready for the word on this morning?
Glory be to God, while I have the distinct privilege of presenting this psalm and introducing to others, none other than the angel of this house, Bishop Lionel Joseph Trailer. Come on over here. Table is spread. Peace of the Lord is going on. Drink from the fountain. It never runs dry. Peace from the table is a bountiful supply. Come on over here. Table is spread. Peace of the Lord is going on. Drink from the fountain. It never runs dry. Feast from the table is a bountiful supply. Come on. Come on over here. Table is spread. Feast of the Lord is going on. Drink from the fountain. It never runs dry. Feast from the table is a bountiful supply. Tell your neighbor. Come on over here. 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 Feast that's going on. Come on over here. Table is spread. Feast of the Lord is going on. You can drink from the fountain. Why? Never runs dry. Feast from the table is a Put your hands together. You ought to come where you can get saved. You ought to come where you can seek from the glory of the Lord. You ought to come where your soul can be saved. There's a feast that's going on. Oh, come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. Say, come on over here. Come on over here. Say, come on over here. Come on over here. Say, come on over here. Oh, put your hand. Come on, give God some glory in this house. Come on over here. 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 There's a feast that's going on. Feast that's going on. There's a feast that's going on. There's a feast that's going on. There's a feast that's going on. Oh, put your I'm gonna give y'all about 60 seconds to get a real praise on. I'm going to give you about 60 seconds. Go ahead and get your praise on. Come on. Come on. Get your praise on this morning. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody. The Lord. Do, me like the Lord. Ain't Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Come on. Nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. I said, can't nobody 
do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. I said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. Nobody, I said, nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. I said, nobody, nobody. I said no, 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 nobody. No, 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 no. I said no, 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 no. Y'all don't want have no trouble. No, no, I said no, 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 nobody. Say no, 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 nobody. I said no, 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 nobody. I said no, 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 nobody. No, no, no. Give them 30 seconds. We gonna come. You either gonna shout now or you gonna shout tonight. <laughs> they got 10 more seconds. Come on. chapter the book of Ephesians the third chapter somebody shout with me no limits come on say it again no limits say no boundaries say no ceilings no walls I wish somebody would get that in their spirit for this month somebody say it again no limits no boundaries no ceilings no walls God's making room for me God's making room for me God's making room for me. God's making room for me. Can you say amen? Give me a little bit of sound on this pulpit, Mr. Simon. Ephesians, the third chapter, verse number 14. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would do what? Grant you what? According to what? of glory to be strengthened with might by what his spirit where in the inner man that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded somebody somebody gonna get rooted and grounded today that you may be rooted and grounded may be able to comprehend I, 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 yeah, turn me up. I feel like preaching the paint off the wall. I don't want a t-shirt to church. You know I'm going to work this morning. I said you got to get some comprehension this morning. You got to get rooted and grounded so that you may be able to comprehend with all the saints. What? What is the breadth? What is the length? What is the depth? And what is the, what's the height? won't go there. What's the length? Y'all missing this. Uh -huh, but praise God. How deep can God really take you? Oh, God. I'm, I'm trying to get you to comprehend. There ain't no secret to what God can do. God, yeah, I said he don't want it to be in the secret. He wants you to comprehend this. Oh, y'all ain't getting this. He said, I'm praying that you can comprehend it. He said, I know you ain't going to get it in your carnal man, so I'm hoping your strength comes from your spirit man. Your spirit man is trying to get your carnal man to understand that when it comes to God, there ain't no limit. Ain't no. He said, what it is? What is the length? Huh? What is the breadth? What is the depth? What is the height? To know the love of Christ, which do what? Pass it all knowledge that you might be filled with what? All the fullness of God. 
Can you comprehend that? Can you comprehend that? Can you comprehend that? Somebody going to get full of God. Somebody about to get full of God. Some, you thought you got full last week. You can't comprehend. Oh! 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 Can I give it to you? Can I give you a little bit? It's hard to be full when every time he fills you, he moves the measurement. Y'all missed that. Soon as you thought he filled you, he raises you up, which means he got to pour more. Soon as I thought I reached the limit, he moved the line and said, come on further. Soon as I thought I got deep enough, he goes deep and say, come here, come, come. The foot. You know why he got to move it? Because it's impossible for me to be completely full of God. Because he is eternal. Did y'all catch that? So I can't get full of him in my flesh. I can't get full of him in my cell. I got to get full of him in my spirit. Boy, this this go this this too much for y'all. Uh, yeah, y'all yeah, y'all mind on the food truck. You this too much for y'all. And uh, you you praise be unto God. I said praise be unto God. I said just when I thought I was full of Him, He emptied me out and started me all over again. Soon as I thought I had no, um, knowledge of Him, uh, He expanded my mind and gave me more. Soon as I thought I knew His power. He said, come closer. I got more. He said, it passes my knowledge. One writer said, such knowledge is just too wonderful for me. Ain't that what he said, evangelist? He said, it's too wonderful. Oh, it's hard to comprehend it. Tell somebody I'm getting full of God. Yeah, yeah, tell them I'm not leaving 2019 without more of God. I need more. I need more of his power. I need more of his anointing. I need more of his grace. Just give, can you give me about 15 minutes? Somebody, somebody say no boundaries. So, somebody say no boundaries. If the devil put up a wall, I'm giving you Holy Ghost permission to break the wall down. It, I say, if he closed the door, I'm giving you Holy Ghost permission to kick the door open. If he tried to box you in, I'm giving you permission to jump off the box. Somebody said she out the box. She out the box. Baby, that's what I plan on doing this morning. I'm breaking all your boxes. I'm breaking all your boxes. I'm breaking all your boxes. I'm The devil, if he can make you believe that there's limitations, then you won't live abundantly. My education will not be my limitation. Somebody gonna be a millionaire with a GED.
seemed like an oxymoron. This seemed like a contradictory statement. But I'm hearing this in my spirit. I could be wrong. But they're going to try and figure out how they put millionaire and Mississippi together. They're going to try and figure it out. I said, because see, most folk that get money from Mississippi, they disown Mississippi. But you're not going to disown Mississippi. You're going to own some of Mississippi. You're going to own parts of Mississippi. Houses you didn't build. Vineyards you didn't plant. Y'all won't preach with me. Greater, greater. of your situation I need you to get prophetically bold and say I'm breaking all these boxes yes you are 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 yes yes Reach up. Say no ceilings. Come on, reach up again. Say no ceilings. Do you feel a roof? Do you feel a hindrance? What you feel is freedom. Yes! Yeah! 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 No ceiling. No ceiling. Somebody shout freedom! like a little bit much on it. I, I got to get y'all out of here in a couple minutes. I, but I, I really feel to do this. See, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little eccentric. I've always been a little eccentric. But I commands my atmosphere. Now the old folk, when they used to want to get rid of the devil, they'll go through their house and they'll lift open the windows and they'll open the door and then they were sweet. Huh? And that was a physical sign of where their heart and their mind and their spirit had gotten. And they would act out what they were believing God for. And they'll say, we're going to sweep this house. That's what they'll do. Now, I just feel like doing this in the spirit, Brother Jose. Somebody grab that door now. Now, you name that door that the enemy is trying to close. You see the name on the door? You see the name on the door? Pass. Pain. Divorce, separation, poverty, sickness. You see the name on that door? Now let go of the door now. No limit! I got victory. I'm not asking I got to be let in. I'm telling I you, I'm coming after everything. Yo, your children behind that door. They salvation behind that door. The devil telling you it's too far gone. And you've been trying nicely to get in there. You've been trying nicely. Niceness is over. My family is behind that door. 
and you trying to tell me I gotta accept the limit on my family the devil is a liar what you say to that trailer I'm coming after my family I'm coming after my children coming after my brothers and sisters coming after my mama coming after my daddy No limit. You should have killed me when you had a chance. I believe God. No limit. No limit. No boundaries. 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 You know what? Somebody trying to question your radical praise, but they ain't in your radical situation. Huh? They didn't get your diagnosis from the doctor. They didn't walk home to a pink slip on that door. They didn't get the phone call in the middle of the night. So excuse my praise. Praise is what I do. Even when I'm going through, I praise it. you to get past this knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Then he goes on to say, now he makes a declaration. He said, now, since we got that out the way, now, now unto him that has the ability to do exceeding Abundantly above no debt, no length, no height. If you give me a height, he get above it. If you give me a ceiling, he gonna get above it. Now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can what? Ask or what? Ask or think. Ask or think. It's not that God has limits. It's that you ain't asked. It's not that God don't have the power. It's that you don't think he can. You think your situation is impossible. And it is with man. But with God. Y'all won't preach with me. He said that's why I got to give you a lesson in faith. Your faith ain't big enough for me. Your faith ain't big enough for me. How you know my faith ain't there? I won't even utter it. I won't even ask it. I'm nervous just asking it. I'm, I'm nervous just asking. And when I ask, I ask a miss because I really don't believe it. And I won't believe it because I really can't think it. And I can't think it because I've never been taught it. If I was taught it, I'd think it. If I can think it, I can believe it. If I believe it, I'll ask it. If I ask it, he'll do it. He's able. I said he's able. I said I don't care if it's cancer in your body. He's able. I said I don't care what the doctor report is. He's able. I 
I said, I don't care where you came from. He's able. I don't care what the judge said. He's able. Y'all quiet now. Y'all quiet now. Trailer, you talk with some boldness. I'm, I'm an experience. I've experienced the very power of God. I've experienced God walk in the courtroom and cause them to lose your paperwork. I've experienced a bullets going through your body and when you should have bled to death he calls you to live again I said I've experienced him him putting together a broken marriage I've experienced him taking you from poverty and putting you in the palace I've experienced I've seen him come out come in from hospice and walk out hopping in the glory of God I can give you names. I can give you dates. I can give you addresses. Too late to tell me. Amen. I shouldn't think like that. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. I said I've seen her when they say she can't have no more babies. Y'all quiet now. Hold up my source. And we laid hands. And now we got to pray that they stop having babies. I see. I've seen God save them from the guttermost to the uttermost. Ain't no secret. What you mean is a secret? Ain't no secret. I said, ain't no secret. God work in mysterious ways. No, you haven't comprehended his ways. We supposed to go on to know his ways. And I decree and declare, hey man, he's bigger than what you can ask or think. Somebody shout with me, no boundary. Come on, say it again, no boundary. Say it again, no boundary. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's too hard for you. But tell him, say, but neighbor, say, oh, neighbor, my God can exceed and do in abundance what you can ask or what you can think. Shout about it. 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 Somebody shout this with me. Lay your hands on your own head. Say, say, Lord, stretch my mind. Come on, say, Lord, stretch my mind. Why? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. If my heart don't have abundance, my mouth won't speak abundance. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mind, the nose, the mouth speaks. I can't get abundance in my mouth until I get abundance in my heart. And if I don't get it in my mouth, I can't get it to manifest. I don't care what you say. Anybody who got money was talking money. You can't talk broke and manifest money. Y'all quiet. Folk who, folk who want money, they put money on them and draw money to them. Y'all quiet now. You're going to have to look like money if you want money. If you want a healing, you're going to have to look like you heal. The Bible says if you're fasting, don't even appear to be fasting. Wash your face and wear your anointing. Y'all quiet now. Anoint yourself with oil. Put on your garment of praise. If I'm sick in my body, you won't see it sick in my praise. I can be sick in my body, but I won't be sick in my worship. I can be sick in my body, but I won't be sick in my faith. I won't be sick in my proclamation. I ain't living a lie. I'm just not, I'm just thinking bigger than my situation. What the doctor said, this is what he said. What you say, I believe. The report. See, you can't believe the report if you don't have no knowledge of the report. You need to hear what the Lord said. His report said, I am healed. His report said, I am blessed. I'm trying to get some folk blessed in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm trying to get you blessed. I want the report to change when they say there ain't no money in Mississippi. When they say ain't no money in Mississippi, you have to say you ain't never met me. Y'all quiet now. Huh? I say you ought to tell me you never met me. And then if you say, well, they say you ain't got no money, you tell them now. Huh? 
But baby, I'm a seed. Y'all quiet now. I said, you have to tell me I'm a seed. Glory be to God. Y'all won't be my witness today. Tell somebody I'm a seed. And tell them my potential is greater than my present. Uh -huh, he's working for me. He's working for me. I said he's working for me, Imani. God's working for me. He's working on my behalf. How you know that? Amen. Because I asked him. Because <laughs> I, I, I believe. Therefore, have I spoken. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Let me give you a little nugget so you can go home with. Well, you ain't going home. You're about to go outside and, 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 and fellowship. But let me, let me give you a little bit something. I need you to lift your hands. I need this to be a proclamation in your mouth this morning. Somebody say it again. No limits. Let them words ride that frequency. Woo. Let them words ride that atmosphere. You shouldn't be here. If you believed in limits, you shouldn't even be here. Some of us, one generation from poverty, one generation from the projects, one generation. Y'all quiet now. And they try to make you a statistic. But the statistic wasn't my Bible verse. My Bible verse was no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. I didn't believe the statistics. I believed this word. No weapon formed against me shall be able. Somebody say no walls. I decree every wall broken. You got the wall. You, you, you see it in your mind. What you think that Old Testament is written for? It's written for our admonition, type, shadow, figure, for our learning. Joshua had a sound that brought down the wall, but it just wasn't the sound, Brother Caleb. It was the instruction that went before the sound. God gave him a word, and he followed the instruction, and the instruction helped him bring down the wall. So I say no walls. I come against every spiritual wall that's been set up against you. Every spiritual ambushment of the enemy. Every witch's cauldron. I decree today we're kicking it over. Every hook and every latch of the enemy. I decree right now every demon that's chasing you in the month of September have to lose your sit. What I man did at my old shine. Monday did at me. I call on my man did at me. What I saw. We break every spiritual wall. 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 Every generational curse broken today. Murder may have run through the family, but murder gonna stop at your house. Murder may have run through your lens, but murder gonna stop with your children. I'm not burying my seed. I refuse to bury my seed. I uproot the assignment of the enemy. No walls. No walls. Any walls that say we can't live abundantly, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Any religious spirit that tell you you can't be saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and prospering, I curse it. Say no ceilings. I release the spirit of promotion in an economy that's going bad. Ooh, I'm glad you received that. I release a spirit of promotion. Trailer, well, by what authority you do that? By the authority of the Holy Ghost. By, by two or three touching together, gathering in his name, agreeing on anything. He decrees he's there in the midst. I release the spirit of promotion. They're going to wonder why you're promoting me when they're firing other people. Promotion. Amen. For somebody, your release going to be your promotion. Oh, my shit. So, they're going to release you from their 9 to 5 and push you into entrepreneurship they're going to release you from your 9 to 5 and force you to establish your own name their release will be God's abundance you're not here by coincidence you're here to break the walls you're here to break the walls Woo! I said, I'm here to break the walls. 
I said there is a wall breaking anointing in this house there is a ceiling breaking anointing in this house I said we hit a tap every evil foundation and it's in this house hold up my satire if I had time to teach you today I'll give you the key word give me don't sit down because if you, if you sit down I'm going to go into teach mode listen say power, power. say power, power. The, the key to that scripture Elder Harvey he said it's according to the power that worketh within us right let his will be done in earth as it is in heaven God in the spirit realm Amen. God is ruling. He's the uh, ruling authority. In the earth realm, he rules in the affairs of men. He needs somebody to allow him to operate through. Are you listening to me? So God is not limited in his ability. He said, I want to work, but who will let me? Who will release me? Who will trust me? I, I, I got to say this. That he, he, last Sunday, when anointing was real thick in this house, Folk begin to run. I think they were sowing ten dollar seeds. I told everybody every Sunday come with a ten dollar seed. That's why I say it. Amen. Praise God. If forty dollars gonna break you, you already broke. Huh? Ten dollars. Amen. Praise God. If the widow gave her last two mites, it was setting her up for a blessing. Watch this. He was one of the last ones I gave a prophetic word to. Now there's been several people I released that over this week. Several people. I, I'm prophet's trailer. This was not in my notes, and I, I got ten minutes. And he, I, it was so vivid when he came to me. He sold a $10 seed. And you know a $10 seed is not about the size of the seed. It's about the heart, faith, and obedience. It's not really about the size of the seed. If you sold a $1,000 but your heart wasn't there, your faith wasn't there, you really didn't do it in obedience, the Bible says he's not receiving it anyway. It's a grievous heart. We don't give out a grief. He, he gave the seed. Watch this, Brother Kyle. I went instantly in the vision. Now, I'm not saying you can buy a miracle because you can't. You can't buy a miracle. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. And if you could, I wouldn't sell a miracle for $10. They got to be worth more than that. <laughs> Praise God. Huh? You mean to tell me a miracle going to be cheaper than a, a pair of polo shoes? The devil is a liar. Huh? Watch this. He came to the altar. He was believing God to do something he couldn't do for himself. He, he, he started his business. He needs some new equipment. He's maxed out all of his credit limits. Let's just put, I'm just put it out there. He maxed out all his credit limits. He's not a bad. It's not nothing bad. It's just he moving. Amen. He, he working. That's why he got some things going. It's actually moving for him. He said, well, I need to upgrade. I need to do some things, Bishop. He said, I need, I, and I, he didn't say, I said, I said, God, I said, what you need is favor. I said, you don't need money. You need favor. You can't do it through credit. Credit ain't going to give it to you. And, and, and if you had the money, they don't operate just like that sometimes. Sometimes you can have money. We still ain't giving you. You ain't got enough money. All right? He needed favor. Make a long story short, I told myself, I see you walk into a, a room. There's a counter. I said, you only take a few steps to it. When you get to the counter, I said, the walls will be white. There's a low-hanging ceiling, and they're going to have given you favor for you to get whatever it is you need. Make a long story short, he made one phone call that Monday. See, that's how people do. You get prophesied on Sunday? They ready. Okay, well, let's see if this thing working at. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's going to work them $10. He made a phone call that Monday. He makes the phone call, daughter. When he makes the phone call, the lady tell him on the phone she did what she could do. Denied. He said, yes, ma'am. We appreciate you. Thank you. She said, hold on. Let me talk to my boss. So she make a phone call up. Say up. Oh. Say no ceiling. She called up. <laughs> Woo, I heard that in the Holy Spirit. It's above me now. It ain't nothing I can do. It's above me now. It's above me. It's above me. God. I just heard that in the Holy Ghost. There ain't nothing else I can do. It's above me now. We got to go up. So they made the phone call. She made the phone. He, she made the phone call, called the, ma the man over her. He looks at her and say, what you think we can do? We can't do nothing with this. He can't get it. It's just a done deal. Tell him we sorry. So she get off the phone with her boss. She say, I'm sorry, Mr. Hampton. There's really nothing we can do. He say, okay, thank you very much. He said, because I never asked her to call up anyway. 
she did that on her own. So when she went to get off the phone, she, he said he went to hang up. She went, hold on, Mr. Hampton. She said, let me go above him. Y'all don't know when to shout. No ceiling. No ceiling. No ceiling. No ceiling. He will do above. Made a phone call above her boss. Now, I don't know what made that like for you to call above your boss, and I didn't even ask it. That's why I told you grace will work for you even if you didn't request it. Got up to the, to the, to the boss of bosses, and the boss of bosses looked at everything and said, hey, give him what he asked for. Not because he qualified, but because one call, that's all. One call to change it for you. One call to turn it around. Somebody say it's above me now. So by the time Monday night came, I even Monday night he say, Oh, Bishop, I just want to give you a praise report. I got the equipment. My time would not allow me to give you all the testimonies that's been running me over. That's, I'm talking about folk off in your messages, in your inbox, calling you. Because God is working. Sometimes the bad news get out before the good news. Huh? But I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, I got to let you go. I'm telling you, everything that looks like a wall is coming down. I'm telling you. Now, if I had time, I may have to teach you tonight. I'm going to have to teach you tonight because I want to teach you how to live in the blessed life. And, and I don't want to give it all to you, but I'm telling you, there's no way you can have a, a continuous currency without a continual current. There is no currency where there is no current. And in order to have a current, you got to have a connection. Currency flows from currents. Current. Now you say currency, money. Money is power. Power is a current. Current is energy. Energy is transferable. If I have a dead thing, I can't get my energy. If I can't get my energy, I don't have a connection. That's why you don't have no currency. Some of y'all don't have a money problem. You have a connection problem. Some of you, the only reason you ain't got your healing because the right person ain't come and lay so that you can get that current. That's why the devil, when he really wants to take you down, he begin to remove pillars out your life. Huh? Because your gift don't work with just you alone. Man alone is not good. Now, scripture says it's not good for man to be alone, but a man alone ain't good. Period. Why? Because there's nothing I can do. There's nothing exchangeable. There's nothing transferable. If I'm gifted, but I'm by myself, my gift don't mean nothing. I'm gifted so I can flow with somebody. And wherever I'm gifted, that's where my current is flowing. And wherever my current flows, that's where my power is received. Wherever my power is received, power is exchanged. Power exchange becomes currency. You're broke because you want to be isolated. You're broke because you want to be alone. You're broke because you can't make friends. You're broke because you break up every relationship you get. You're broke because you think you're supposed to be by yourself. You're sick because you're by yourself. Y'all quiet now. You're depressed because you're by yourself. You're oppressed because you're by yourself. You're cold because you're by yourself. But if you had a cold, if you had at least two, the Bible said two is better than one. And if you had three, a threefold cord, the threefold cord is what the currency flows through. Y'all quiet. If I was one by myself, I'm going to be cold. But two Two, I can at least be warm. Three, we got some power. Devil wants you by yourself. Because he you know by yourself you can't help yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
That's why he'll tell you, if I was you, I wouldn't get with them. But I'm getting, I don't got with you. I can't get nothing. Every connection ain't a good connection. How you can tell I don't have no currency? You can't keep me current. Since I connected with you, I done fell backwards. I ain't even current no more. Y'all quiet now. But since I connect, so you get some connections, brother. Hey, Amen. That thing keep your current. It keep the currency. It keep you warm. It keep you, y'all. It keep you flowing. Woo! I gotta let y'all go. It keep you relevant. I want, I want you to get this in your spirit. I want you to get this in your spirit. No boundaries. Say it again. No boundaries. Say no walls. Say no limits. Say no ceilings. Trailer, trailer. Go ahead and tell me. Tell him, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Say this with me. If there's a limit, it's because I lost power. It's according to the power. If I had time, I would work the definition of the word power. The word power means to have the ability to do, amen, to think, to produce. Power is an action. If it's not working, it's not power. Lift your hands. I got to let y'all go. Woo! Lord, I bet. Siki de bi osha. Tara. I told him 1230. That's 1230. Who got some power on them? You got some power on you? Who ba ba sha tara ma kosho? Who? I see a miracle about to happen. Who de bi asa? Who got some power on them in here? Who got some power on them in here? Who got some power on them in here? Lyman, Lyman. Yes, Lord, I'm going to say that. I hear the Lord saying, what if, I, if he pulled the last of your virtue out to help somebody else? Could he get that virtue out of you? I want you to come work this altar right here. And Minister Harris, come assist Lyman right here. Give me some oil. Hold on. Play it a little louder, Kinderleek. Hold on, me, I said. Lift your hands. Mama going to minister to you because Mama got healing in her hands. Woo! I said, Mama got healing in her hands. I know it. She done rebuked death off me twice. I remember when the doctors couldn't find the cauldron for the infection in my body. I had a severe staph infection. They ran one antibiotic cauldron. It wouldn't stop it. They ran a second one, and it wouldn't stop it. She drove from New Orleans in the middle of the night and walked in the, and walked in the hospital room with her hand, and she said, the Lord told me I'm bringing your miracle. She laid hands on me, and then all of a sudden, the infection subsided. I said, we got to have power, y'all. Are y'all praying in here? Come on, let's pray in this atmosphere. We already done. We already done. Anybody else? You believe in God for a miracle? Come on. There's power in this house. Come on. Come on, Brother Patrell. Lift your hand. What you need God to do? Hallelujah. It's as you can think it, son. It's as much as you think it. Lift your hands. Tell the Lord I submit. Tell him I surrender. Come on, give me some atmosphere. Come on. Hold on, my age. Hold on, my Answers. 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 You've been living by favor. Now you need answers. 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 You provide the fire. That's why I hear in my spirit. And I'll provide the fire. Strength, oh God. Strength, oh God. And peace. Hey, shut down up. There's miracles happening at this altar. There's miracles happening at this altar. There's miracles happening at this altar. Ushia, hando do bo osha. Ola na na mi asi hando do lo lo bo osha. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Out the box. Out the box. Out the box. You got out. Don't you let them put you back in. Don't you let them put you back in. Don't you let them put it back in. Don't you? Sometimes we feel guilty when God's setting us free. Sometimes we feel guilty when God's setting us free. 
I don't have to apologize for God set me free. And I will not go back to what God brought me out of. I don't have to apologize for liberty. I don't have to apologize for a new mindset. I don't have to apologize for change falling off me. New connections. New connections. New connections. New connections. Come on. 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 Come here, Jane. Lay hands on both his feet. Speak healing. Miracles. 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 And I'll provide the sacrifice.